hello friends and welcome or welcome back to another video today we're doing one that I'm very nervous about um, we were in the car again yes yes we were in the car again um, so today I am going to be going on to Goodreads and I'm going to be reacting to one star reviews of my favorite books and I'm nervous um so today we're gonna look at the boys of tom and we can do any book from that series they're all five stars for me um from blood and ash a court of mist and fury and let's see we'll start with those three and then go from there um so let's start with um from blood and ash because i know that there are some mixed reviews on this book 600 plus pages of no plot no vibes a main character with no brain thinly veiled racism and way too many mentions of honeydew okay when i read it i didn't really see the racism part um but valid point on honeydew we overlook it we overlook it um and she does come across as having no brain. I see where you're coming from. But she has she has trauma. You got to think about how her life was. So, and vibes. There were vibes. There were vibes. Well, for me, there was. And there is a plot. There is a plot. Um, I quite enjoyed it. This book was just badly written at first. A.K.A. for 500 smutless pages. Okay. But there was tension. There was tension. That's why. That's what I loved about it. There was tension. But then it actually became disturbing and upsetting. So I had to stop reading at the last 100 pages. Because I was so angry. This book was just so badly written. And I couldn't stand either of the main characters. Especially the love interest. Okay. Valid. Valid opinions. Is it the best written book in the world? No it's not. No it's not. Um, I loved it. Mainly for the vibes. Like I said. I... I I base my rating solely on enjoyment and vibes. <laughs> Someone said, dang, that's sad. Someone said, what's wrong with the love interest? Exactly. Exactly. I loved him. So, I disagree, but I, I agree with some stuff, but I also disagree. Really crappy world building, but you know what? I like the sex scenes enough to want to read the next book, not gonna lie. Um, yeah. The, um... The world building is not the best. It's not intricate. It's not the best. And sometimes it's not easy to follow. But you know what? I still I enjoyed it. I'm y'all know I enjoyed it. I wouldn't be reading one star reviews of this if I didn't enjoy it. DNF. So y'all, I started reading. If you hear something, it is starting to rain. I might have to pause until the rain stops. If it gets too loud. Um I started reading this very underrated book last year that you've probably never heard of. It's been almost a year and I still can't seem to finish it to save my life. So finally I'm giving up and going to bury this book in my backyard because I'm feeling particularly violent today. Wish me luck. Okay. Alright. This, okay. This book was kind of hilarious in a not to be taken seriously kind of way. Keep your expectations low and your standards lower. See, if you go into it knowing that it's not going to be the best written thing ever, then you're going to have a good time. Don't go in thinking it's going to be some like fully like thought out Shakespearean type written book because it's not. It's not. Um, so. All right, let's go to the boys of Tommen because they are my babies. So, we're going to do Binding 13 first. Oh, gosh, y'all. I just know that this is going to... Okay. No way y'all like this. I loved it. I loved it. There's found family in here. I mean, yes, there is some darker topics and darker things in that happen. So, check your trigger warnings. But I love the found family. I just... Ugh, these characters feel like my best friends. They feel like I don't know. They feel like family to me. I don't. I just. I love them so much. Man, y'all write like whole novels for some of you. 
don't read this it's so bad I can't bother to write a bad review it's not for everybody it is not for everybody but it was for me it was for me I will say that I'm seeing some people talk about the age gap that's like it's marketed as YA some of these people some are saying that it's adult but it's uh, or it's an adult romance and they aren't adults actually it's marketed as YA with some of the stuff in it it should not be marketed as YA but it is um, and then there's people talking about the age gap 16 and 18 is not that big of an age gap when you think about it like I don't know it's a two year age gap I know they make they make a big deal and some like the book makes a big deal about the age gap I didn't really like it's two years I didn't really see a problem with it but oh goodness mm. sorry but this book gave me Wattpad 2.0 vibes and while I liked that five years ago I do don't anymore valid valid very valid there's another one that came straight from Wattpad. They are both minors. Yes, they are. Tom in college in Ireland, it's high school. Yes, they are both minors. It's so... Oh, sorry. It is bad enough. Is it... It is bad enough. I am reading a romance novel between a 15-year-old girl and a 17-year-old boy. I totally do not understand the high rating this book has. It makes... It moves in circles and circles and endless circles. One chapter something happens, the next chapter one of the main characters will narrate what it, I had already read. This book sucked, actually sucked. I want the minutes I wasted on this book back. Okay, yes, the book does repeat, well, I know that Redeeming Six does, but you get multiple points of view of like the same thing that happened, so you get like what was going through everybody's head at the time. Which I liked. Yes, it does get repetitive at points. But you get to know what all the characters are thinking. Like, you're sitting there having a conversation with them. Like, they're telling you their thoughts, I guess, so to speak. But I enjoyed it. I, like I said, I enjoyed it. Very valid opinion. Very valid. I see where, I see where they're coming from. This, so, this book... <laughs> Okay, I totally agree with this too. This book was so long for nothing. And why was he so concerned that she was two years younger? Sweetheart, that's literally fine. Yes, I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. I overlooked it. But totally agree with that. Because he made such a big deal about, about the two-year age gap. And I'm like, for what? For what? Like, he ends up, we end up like getting over it, but... For what? It's two years, honey. It's two years. Like, I totally agree with that. I totally agree. And yes, sometimes the books can be a little bit too long. Like, Redeeming Six is like 900 pages. So, I don't know how much the Bloom version of it is. But I know the one that I just finished reading was 900 pages. So, totally valid. Totally valid. Totally see where you're coming from. I don't get the hype. And that's okay. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. I loved it, but it's not for everybody. All right. I'm interested to see what people are going to say about A Court of Mist and Fury. Because that is such a popular book that... I don't know. Oh, there's not that many one-star reviews. Out of 1.8 million, only 11,000 of them are one star. So, let's see. Just what I expected. DNF. Seriously, anyone who manages to finish this book deserves an award. Give me my award. I love this book. Someone commented on and said, this is exactly what I feared. I, I'm not interested in how mass things adding love triangles make the romance more real or the plot more complex. Okay, I see where you're coming from. I didn't really feel that way. I didn't feel of it as a love triangle. Because all parties have to be interested and involved for it to be a love triangle. But I get it. I get it. I am very proud to announce that my desire to read overhyped YA book talk fantasy romance era is officially over. Okay. Not YA. Not YA. But I get where you're coming from. Like, a lot of the times I don't like some of the stuff that's hyped up on book talk. And so I've decided to, like, start 
if I see a book that interests me, I'm not going to go off of its reviews and stuff. Um, because that could, that could deter me from finding a book that I like truly enjoy. Um, cause in the past, if I'm going to the bookstore and I see a book that I'm interested in, I will look it up on Goodreads and see what the average rating is. And I, I'm, I'm trying to get away from that because I know that, you know, those, ra those ratings don't always show what the how good the book is because someone there could have been um like in i guess in light lark's case um there could have been a bunch of people going and spamming one stars just because they of something that they didn't like about about whether it be um the author or whether it be the idea of the book or anything like that sometimes people go and just spam one star reviews and so i tend to not go off of goodreads reviews anymore because i've got some books on my shelf that are like a three point like three or 3.5 average rating so we'll see <laughs> someone said they just became the high lady of the court of fury <laughs> rye sand discovers that women have a brain and can think for themselves i lit literally invented fem feminism omg woke feminist king okay I disagree because he was the one that kind of wanted Feyre to like speak for herself to be on the same level as the High Lords like he thought of her as an equal so maybe it came off different to me than it did to them um, but I didn't feel that way because I felt like um, now Tamlin, yes, I would see this review going for Tamlin, but for Rasand, I don't know. Because Reese was always like, he's the one that like tried to teach her, like taught her how to read, like valid, but I don't know. <laughs> when you fall in love with a bat, totally valid, totally valid review. Um, yes, they are called the Bat Boys, but <laughs> totally valid review. I loved the Bat Boys. I love them, but <laughs> it's not for everybody, but I enjoyed it. Wingspan, if you know, you know. All right, let's look up. Ooh, you know, it'd be a good one. Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. That was one of my absolute favorite reads. He has become one of my favorite authors. This book should have been called Annoying People. Unrealistic, so repetitive. The police interviews were simply ridiculous. Borderline stupidity is what's considered humorous in this novel. Valid. Um, the whole like aspect of anxious people was to see how our lives affect the lives of others and we don't really realize just how much we affect those around us and so i really enjoyed it um now some parts could get annoying i can see where they're coming from um the police interviews yes um if you read the book then you know like the two police officers like their relationship like i can totally see where this review is coming from okay charming hilarious profound three things this book believes it is and i disagree hated it i disagree i thought it was hilarious i liked how the author broke the fourth wall and kind of talked to us as the reader but to each their own this book is about idiots authors were not mine now he does talk about how people can be idiots okay it rambles on and on and on and on and on. Then it rambles on some more. I finished it just to say I finished, not a fan. I can, yes, I see where this this comment, like this this writing is coming from. Um, yes, he does end up, like, talk about how people can be idiots. Um, and he does kind of ramble on and on and on and on. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I am an anxious person. I don't, you know, I, I bought the book for the title because I have real bad anxiety and I was like, hmm, a book about anxious people. It turned out to be so much more than that and I'm really glad I picked it up. 
All right, friends, that is going to be all of the books that we read one star reviews from. This book, this video was kind of spontaneous, if you will. Um, so if you like this video, give it a like, let me know. Um, I can do another one like this in the future, not anytime soon, but in the future. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, give a little star in the comments for one star reviews. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, my goal right now is to get to 300 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and I will see you in my next one.